Please, let me talk to this gold digger. Please. You don't have anything to say? You to come, oh. uh, and you came with your guy. My brother, how are you? Anyway, it's, it's good enough you came with your fiance because uh, you yeah. want him to be part of the surprise as well. There's a surprise? Yeah. Somebody has been on my neck for since while she was in school and I decided to keep to my promise. Long, long, long time promise. Oh. But you now have a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy you're happy. You will like it. Your car is parked right outside. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Honey. What's going on here? I uh, just uh, got my sister. What's her car? Do you have a problem with that? Yes, I have a problem with it. My car has been with the mechanic for what? Months. Because of gearbox problem. And you have refused to fix it for me. Even this morning I talked to you about it, you said you don't have any money and now you buy her a car? Babe, must you bring that here? This is how we bring it here, because I'm taking Uber to no. take your children to school. Babe, let's Jason. go upstairs and talk. You and I, you did not consult me personally before you made this decision to buy her a car. So we're going to talk about this here. She has a fiancé for goodness sake. A man who's supposed to be taking care of her. You should allow him to take his responsibility. Yes, what, what, is, what, is his, what is he doing in her life if, he's, if you don't let him take responsibility for her? Excuse me. You're quite excused. And I'm still talking. I don't understand why I asked you this morning for 750000 naira to fix my car. You said you didn't have money. This morning. And I've been the one jumping Uber, going to pick your kids from school with taxi. I knew it since the time you came into my brother's life. All your plan is to scatter our family, to separate us. Uh, 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 no. no, 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 brother. Let me talk, please. Let me talk to this gold digger. Wait. You don't have anything to say? Babe, I say let's go upstairs and talk. You wouldn't listen. You don't have anything to say? Okay, fine, because I have a lot to say. You're calling me a gold digger because you, you give your fiancé or boyfriend money. Talking about supporting your fiancé, talking about gold digging, how do you manage to get the money you have to support me? Isn't all this old men that carry you around that you get money from? Standing there calling me a gold. Babe, will you stop this right now? He didn't have anything to say earlier. But I do. Sorry. Your trip to Dubai. Was it not an old man that took you there? Standing there called me a gold digger. The tour you went on. Really? What's going on? I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, I have proof. The tour guide? She's my friend. And she recognized you from my wedding. What? You know what? I'm out of here. Don't! Do you want to destroy your relationship? Which relationship? B! Do you even know if the man is afraid or something? Oh, her friend will just buy her a ticket, take her to buy and start splashing money around. Be her friends her. do things for friends. Friends buy friends gifts. Randomly just go to your bank. Take money and buy gifts for any friend. Do you have a proof that man is sleeping with her? Do you have a proof? I have a problem. I asked you to step up with my sister's problem with this girl, Jason. You told me you did not have it. Excuse me. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome. Babe, are you good? Mm. How are you? Oh, crazy day. How was your day? Crazy as usual. 
Lagos traffic can just drive somebody crazy. I can imagine. Have you been? Okay. Babe, I, I saw a car parked outside. Who's in that car? Oh. A friend gave it to me. A friend gave it to you? <laughs> What's the, what's the celebration? It's not your birthday. What are you celebrating? Um, it's just a gift. I just complained that um, I was tired of taking taxis and just gifted it to me. Uh, is, is it a male friend or a female friend? Male friend. You see, it's a very, very good thing. <clears throat> we should say thank you, right? Baby. I don't get you. A male friend that I don't know? You don't know all my friends. You return that car this minute. Why? Because you are married! Um. How can a married woman just accept gift from a male friend like that? I don't understand. Well, you said the other day that it was okay for friends to buy gifts for friends and there was nothing wrong with it. Go to the bank, get money, and just flash their arm and get friends. And you said it was okay with it as long as... Babe, I, I said that because my sister, she's not married. Alright? You're married! So you, it's okay for your sister to take gifts from different male friends and, and, and I can't? That's double standards, you know? And besides, she has a fiancé. So she's almost married. But well, you said it was okay. I don't understand why you're so upset. I mean, it's just a gift. It's just a male friend. There's nothing between us. You'd not see him sleeping with me. Anyway, I find it rather unfair that it is okay for your sister to get gifts from other people and I cannot. It's just not fair. I'm get your food. I'm not hungry. Babe, I'm sorry. Alright, I... I've not been a supportive husband 100%. And I'm not proud of you at all. When I did that, it was wrong. I'm sorry about what happened the other day, how my sister spoke to me, right? And I didn't do anything about it. Now I've come to realize that uh, it should be my number one priority and my first course in life. My everything before family. Please allow me to rewrite my wrongs. That drama and that day will never happen again. I promise you that. Please. I don't mean to overwork you like this. But I'm not asking you to put me before your family. I'm just saying that you should talk to me about everything before you go on with any decision you want to make. Because you and I are one, yeah. right? Men's fault. I must take permission from you. I must talk to you about it. It must be okay by you before I will do anything. Trust me, my hands are All I'm asking for, you know I'm not even a difficult person. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm ready to be a better husband. Right, I'm ready to support you, stand by you. As a matter of fact, anything you want from us, but I get it from you. Do you know what? Tomorrow, first thing tomorrow morning, we'll go to the car and look. You get any car of your choice. But please return that car to that friend of yours, please. The car is my own. I bought it myself. You're kidding. Jeez. <sighs> I don't have any friend that can buy me a gift like that. Just a friend, buy me a gift like that. I don't know what to say, I'm just speechless. Like, okay, you know what, babe? Just let me know how much you get a car. And I will find you the money. And I will add extra. As a matter of fact, let me get. Let's go upstairs. Oh my God, And I'll write you a check right away. Come on. <laughs> 